What is up guys? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to actually kind of source and vet um, products that you're looking to sell for you know your Shopify dropship store or how to determine whether or not a product is good um, to sell on your Shopify dropshipping store, okay? So um, there's a few ways to go about this guys. Two kind of things I want to show you guys about you know looking at products, right? So there's front end and back end sourcing or vetting, right? It's kind of what I like to call it. And you have to look at both of them to determine whether or not a product is good to basically like put an effort into selling, okay? So then there's there's front end and back end, okay? What is front end sourcing? Front end sourcing is basically saying, okay, I'm gonna look at the market and let the market tell me what's popular right now, okay? What niche is popular, what products in those niche are popular, uh, you know, what what is actually trending right now in the current state of the market, okay? For example, say it was fidget spinners, right? That was, that was a few, like quite a few months ago, right? But if it was fidget spinners, right, then you'd be like, okay, Fidget spinners are really trending right now, but then that, that doesn't really answer the question of like, what exact product are you selling, okay? So, you wanna sell fidget spinners, but you don't know exactly, you know, which fidget spinner to sell, okay? That's where it comes into back end, sort of vetting or sourcing, okay? Back end sourcing, guys, is where you look at the suppliers, the manufacturer, like whoever's actually making and giving, like going to be shipping the product out to the customer, okay? You have to look at them and actually vet them as well, okay? Because you don't want to spend all this time saying, you know, oh, I'm going to sell, you know, fidget spinners, but then when you actually put fidget spinners on your site, you pick, you know, the wrong suppliers, the, or like bad suppliers, um, suppliers that, you know, were, because the guys, guys, be aware, like, because again, there's always middlemen, right? Dropshipping is middlemen, but then you have to be aware that there's middlemen of the middlemen, okay? So on AliExpress, there's some suppliers that just, buy cheaper from other suppliers and then mark it up a few cents or even a dollar or two and then they sell it to you, right? Or they ship it out to you. So they're drop shipping the, to the drop shippers, if that makes sense, okay? So guys, there's, there's markets for everything, okay? And that's what I want you guys to be aware of is, hey, you gotta source the back end and the front end, okay? So for example, right, we're gonna hop into screen share right here real quick too, um, just so I can show you guys um, a little bit about what you could potentially do when kind of sourcing um, sourcing this stuff, right? So, Alright guys, so we are on AliExpress right now, and I mean, I'm just gonna walk you guys through like a super quick example, but say for example, right, we wanted to sell, um, I don't know, sunglasses, right? So sunglasses, we click on sunglasses, and now we're presented with a bunch of product, okay? Now, what actually do we wanna sell, right? Do we wanna sell, hey, this one, um, that's only 573, right? Oh, looks, you know, cheap. Uh, I could probably sell that for, you know, $20, $30. Um, or do we wanna sell this one, which is 1274, blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of products, like you're throwing products in your face, right? What I do, I immediately, I don't click best match, okay? I immediately source it by orders, all right? I wanna see what suppliers are on top of their game with shipping things out, because again, you don't want your you don't want to like spend all this money, all this time to get an order just to have your supplier mess it up and just never ship it out or just like never fulfills your order, right? That sucks, okay? Because then you have to refund that money to the customer, all the hard work you put in to actually get them to actually buy from you is just wasted, okay? So again, I showed it by orders. One, just to make sure, okay, these suppliers I know for a fact are shipping out a bunch of orders, um, and one like there are two it also validates the product themselves, right? It's saying, okay, someone somewhere in the world is making a lot of money selling these glasses, okay? Look at this. Yeah, that's, yeah, 20,800 orders, okay? This one, 19,560 orders, okay? Sorry, uh, ugh, numbers. Okay, so that right there proves, okay, these products are getting a lot of orders from someone in the, somewhere in the world, okay? So again, you could be that next someone, right? These products right here, it literally just shows you that you can grab these ones, you know that the supplier is worthy, like trustworthy, right? You know that the product is sellable, right? Because someone, someone in the world is selling a bunch of these, right? Or a bunch of people are selling like good amounts of them, um, stuff like that, okay? What you don't want to do is like you click best match, right? Say we're going back here. This one only has 87 orders, right? Again, that's not like bad. Um, it could just mean like, you know, no one else is doing a good job of selling it. But me personally, I always preferred to look at orders anywhere from over 100 to 200 orders, okay? That was the, like the minimum of the minimum, okay? So like, uh, this one here has like 500 orders, like say we wanted to sell that, okay? So that, that would be like, okay to do. But then, then after, after you kind of like, found that, you gotta make sure like, okay, you know, is the price what I want, right? You can literally search for the same sort of like title that some of these products are to see if there's multiple suppliers selling the same, you know, the same like style of shades, for example, right? Because then again, some of them, like there'll be a lot of them that sell them for different rates, different prices. Um, some of them, you know, they ship from the United States, so you click, and you click that. We can sort it to like, okay, these ones all ship from the US, right? 
And then it's just a matter of deciding which ones like you want to want to ship, right? And then you, like, obviously these ones are usually a bit more pricey, right? Because then they're shipping from the U.S. You don't have to worry about the e packet stuff like that. But again, guys, it's just a matter of um, this. This is back end stuff, right? I like to look at orders, okay? I, I love to look at orders. That's literally the tab that I basically live on, okay? And you can have it already sorted for the United States if that's what you want. But then again, guys, it's like, that's the back end portion of it, right? So you want to do that after you've kind of looked at the front end, right? Because again, the front end side of things is literally just, what is the market telling me is selling right now, right? So like right now, and for example, for fashion stuff, like what's doing really well? Dad caps, um, necklaces, Bracelets, bracelets are always doing like well. It's just like what kind of bracelet, right? Um, stuff like that, guys. So it's literally a super quick video, just like, hey, there's different ways to kind of vet different products, right? And I look at things from two different like spectrums, right? It's like that front end side where it's like, what are like the people facing? Like, what's the market actually selling, right? What are people flocking to in in the industry in the niche, okay? And then the back end side of things, like, what are the suppliers doing, okay? Like. Can I trust this supplier? Is he shipping out orders, you know, well or frequent, like fre frequently, right? Um, stuff like that, or like, are they getting a lot of orders, right? Is the product actually selling somewhere in the world by like a relatively high rate, like stuff like that? Okay, that all like helps you guys um, to to vet these different products. Okay, guys, and then again, like if you don't know where to start, there's a few programs you can always like use um, to just like figure out or just like literally hand you different products. Because you have just one right here. It's called Dropship Spy. Um, what they do is they literally, this is, it's kind of ridiculous actually. I wish this was around when I started when I got in jobs like two and a half years ago. But literally, you sign up and they give you products that are proven to be trending or selling at the current moment, right? Um, basically, like they give you, you know, three top suppliers with all their prices laid out, all the profit margins you could be potentially looking at, different selling rates, um, Facebook keywords for targeting. They literally show you, like, um, Hold on, actually, let me just show you, right? They usually have a free product of the week. Uh, okay, so guys, they, they literally have a free product that you can look at that like shows you and they like prove to you that it's selling. Okay, for example, this one. Again, guys, it's not necessarily like in a specific industry. Um, I've talked to the owners of this site and they're working on that. But for example, right, this, this is the, the mole remover, okay? And if you look right here, boom, three different AliExpress suppliers are listed right here. It gives you the feedback scores, gives you the, you know, their cost, um, literally like the cost of goods that you could be looking at. And then it gives you AliExpress reviews that you can import to your store if you have Ali reviews on your Shopify app list, which again, um, I've talked about in my other videos. Um, you can literally, literally like copy a lot of this stuff and implement again, again guys like this is more not for like brand building um, this is probably if you're more interested in like um, not necessarily a general store but like promoting one specific product and then kind of like getting a lot of money with that and then switching to another product blowing that up switching to another one blowing that up, right it's, it's less of like hey I'm gonna build this brand and get this unique content and all that kind of stuff right this is purely for like okay this is proven to sell you're gonna grab this you're gonna put it on a site you're gonna throw a bunch of Facebook ads into it and then um, like make money, right? Because then, like, like they prove to you that it sells. And for example, right? We'll go look at. You can click Facebook advert, and we'll actually go um, and it'll find this thing, right? Look, look at the engagement: 2.7k likes or whatever engagements, right? 780 shares and almost 230,000 views. Okay, so again, it, it shows you that this product is selling. Okay, and the, this is kind of the what I was.